guys, thanks for tuning in. So I'm at the park with uh, Mavic Pro. Now I'm going to go through a full-on flight test. I got three batteries here in the um, package in this uh, Flamwork combo. This is the Flamwork combo version where you get two extra batteries, the bag, and some other stuff. So if you miss the initial unboxing and setup, I'll have the link, the card pop up here, and I'll have also have the link in the description of the video so you can check that out. But today I'm at the park. There's really no wind, maybe a few miles per hour, just kind of rotating around here. We're going to put this thing through a thorough flight test, try to complete and test out mostly all the features. I do have three batteries, so this may be a long one, but I want to get a lot of the features in here in this flight test. So let's just see how this thing performs, um, and then we'll go through like a pros and cons at the end and see how it does. So what I'm going to do is just quickly set it up and just kind of see how long it takes to go from you know, fully charged bag state to actual flying. Don't forget, I will have the link to the uh, Mavic Pro and also the Flamware combo in the description of the video. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and check out and click the link under the video so you can see what the pricing is, the current pricing is, and a little bit more in-depth specs. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and set this thing up. Okay, here we go. So from bag state, let's go ahead and set this thing up. So just unzipping. Just pulling out the Mavic here. Set that down. Here's the controller. And I'm going to be using my G5 cell phone for this one. And first thing we want to do with the cell phone is you really want to make sure that your Wi-Fi is off since we're going to be connecting into the controller. Um, we don't really need to have Wi-Fi on. And also make sure your Bluetooth is off just to really lessen the interference on the flight. So this is ready to go. Um, already got a battery in here, so that's really all we need to do with the bag. We'll set that on the side. Then we're just kind of unpacking this, so just two front arms, rotate those out. Two rear arms, rotate them down and back. And then just a matter of taking off this uh, gimbal guard here, the dome, and then the, the gimbal brace. Just want to kind of turn it like this and pull it out. Set those guys down. And this thing's pretty much ready to go. I just got to get the controller all configured. So I'll set this down and put the controller in. Put the phone in the controller. Just want to get the antennas up. And then make sure that all our wiring is good. And then really, just plug in your phone first into the controller. Now this one's using the USB Type-C connector. So just going to make sure that this is seated really good. You can kind of look in from the side like I did in my unbox. Don't forget to check that out if you want to kind of see the setup. Anyway, that's it. So just make sure it's plugged in securely. Double check it's pushed in good. And then go ahead and give it a push. I do have a little slimline case on this guy. But uh, look at that. So that sits in there nice and tight. Make sure nothing's like you know, bound up too bad, make sure all your switches are good, and we're really ready to go. So first thing we want to do is turn on the controller. So I'm pressing once and then I'm pushing and holding. So click, push and hold, you're going to see like it's connecting and then you're going to hear the beep. Then all we need to do is put the Mavic down. Now this grass is a little bit long for this. So I'm hoping it'll be okay. You know what, I'm just going to put it so it just is barely sitting on the grass. It looks like the gimbal will be alright. Just keep that in mind. So, um, just kind of want to spread the propellers. You don't have to do this, but I think it's good measure just to, um, so the motors aren't wobbling too hard when it's starting up. And you can see how they're almost hitting the grass. They're probably going to hit the grass just a little bit on boot up. So. Preferably, you want to have, you know, you can get some leg extensions or I was going to put it on my slipper, but it's okay. It should be okay. Or put it like on a, you know, flat board or box just to be safe. We'll see how this works in the grass here. All right, so Mavic on, pushing once and then pushing and holding so all the lights come up. And now we're just going to see, you can see the gimbal initializing. It looks like the grass isn't really touching it barely at all, so it shouldn't influence it. I felt a little vibration on the controller, and immediately 
I've got my screen here and the Mavic is ready to go. So that's the time it takes to, to uh, initialize this thing to get it all set up. So that wasn't more than like a minute or two, so really quick setup. Okay guys, so I'm recording the screen. Um, it just said home point recorded because it got enough satellites it looks like. And if you want to see how many satellites you have, you can actually go ahead and see on the top of this phone screen here that we've got 17 right now. So we should be A-OK -okay for takeoff. I'm just going to let it sit for you know a few more seconds. Um, got 100% battery on the craft. We can also see on our controller screen that we have 100% battery on the craft here. And then the controller, oops, I just swiped away the controls. Okay, that's cool. Looks like if you don't want to see any controls, you can swipe in from the bottom and you can see all those uh, OSD stats go off if you wanted to. Anyway, cool. So good to go. Everything's saying ready to go. And uh, I'm not going to do the calibration here. I already did the calibration in my yard, and it's super easy. All you're going to need to do is go into the app and follow the instructions on the calibration. It's super simple. Um, I didn't have any problem, and did, did a test flight, and it flew perfectly in my yard. So what we're going to do is I'm going to be recording off the Mavic in 1080p, 30 frames per second. You can do 4K as well. So I may be switching that in the flight. I've got a few batteries, so as long as it takes to test out all the features, I'll be, probably be throwing up some 4K as well. So you kind of get the experience of the whole thing here. Here is our um, satellite map. Now, this is a little bit of a con to me. For some reason, this isn't refreshing to me. You can see that it's all blurry in a satellite map, and I'm not sure what's going on there. I tried turning off and on the Wi-Fi um, and all that stuff. We'll see if when it launches, if this kind of comes into play. I mean, the cell phone has data, and it should be coming in, um, so I'm not sure what the deal is with that, um, that Google Maps but we'll see if that gets better as we test it out. Okay, so we're ready to go. So we have some options to launch here. We can either hold the both sticks down into the middle to arm and launch, or you can press this little guy here on the top left of the controller and slide to take off. Let's go ahead and try that this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide to take off. And there it goes. So the Mavic's up, and I should probably start recording. So. Here we go. So we're in camera mode. I'm going to switch to record mode. And I'm going to press this red button here. And that's recording in 1080p, um, 30 frames per second. We can see that we have, uh, I'm in standard mode. This is the sport mode here if we push that up. So I'm in standard mode. And we can kind of just see how well it's hovering. This is the height it got to when I did the auto launch. So that's about three feet off the ground. It's looking really stable. It's using its sensors to detect the ground. It's got a vision and a sonic sensor to look at the ground there to maintain its height. You can kind of, I can feel some wind coming in. This is like a five coming from this direction. So you can kind of see it flutter a little bit. And then you can also see, you know, how, how it's stabilizing the video on the screen. I'll also have that video up of the Mavic on the screen so you can see how it's doing during flight. But here we go. So we're at 95% power. Let me just get up to eye level here. You know what I want to do is I'm going to throw my keys down right where this thing took off. And that was right there. So we'll see when we do a return to home, we'll see how accurate it is when it lands, does its automatic landing. So I'm going to go out a little bit. I'm just pushing forward on the pitch stick. Come up to eye level. And this thing, I mean, you can see how rock solid this guy is. You know, for the money, what you're getting is a, is a really high performance machine here. And I wouldn't have guessed any less. I mean, I've seen a couple reviews on this thing, and it just sticks right there in the air where you want it to. So I'm going to do my little walk around. And you'll probably be see, see me coming in the camera. Hello, guys. And you can see that the vision sensors are actually um, picking me up. You can see that the red little warning signs there. And I'm feeling the, the uh, controller is actually vibrating. So I can feel that. So 
it's doing really good. I mean, you know, a little bit of wobble from the wind. The wind's coming from my back about five now. But I'm not seeing any change in the video, and that's what this thing's great for is little compact, high quality video machine to take out and take some video. Semi professional. Anyway, you can see that it hasn't moved at all. Maybe like an inch or two up and down because it's using those high tech vision and sonic sensors to check out the ground and it's also GPS locked in the air here. And speaking of GPS, we've got 19 satellites now if you look at the top of the screen. So that's great. So let's go ahead and do like a quick little uh, camera pitch deal. And you can see on the right of the controller, on the roller, I can go ahead and adjust my exposure. So say it's a little cloudy right now, it's a little overcast, and I want to brighten that up a little bit. I'm just rolling to my right, and I'm getting a little bit brighter, you know? So you can see that on the screen while you do it. And this also has an overexposure setting. If you wanted to see those zebra lines, you could turn that on to see what in the picture is overexposed. I'm not going to turn that on for this flight because it kind of ruins the um, the video of what you're guys seeing. It's not going to show up on the recorded video on the craft, but I'm not going to turn that on. So left roller, I'm pitching the camera down. Let's go all the way straight down. And it's looking good, just pointing right at the ground. For this one, keep in mind that this one you have to focus. So it looks like the ground might be kind of out of focus. I'm hitting my left trigger button here 